Time to get him out. Seems like you got away. Our friend is back in fighting shape and another enemy of DedSec has been thwarted. Nicely done. Surrender yourself. Failure to comply will result in extreme measures. Warning. Continuing unlawful activity. now. No, yeah, I do. Here. <sighs> with me.
There's a shitload of security goons around here, and even more around the server room. Well, that's bad. We're probably not the only ones after this evidence. You'll have to beat them to it. There's the term intrusion there. This will trigger a heavy security response.
I grabbed the evidence from the server and scrubbed the local copy. No way they'll identify it now. Now get out of there so we can tell her the good news. Snatch that footage you were worried about. You can relax now. God, I thought for sure I was dead. Whatever you need, just say the word. You should totally join up with DeadSec. Kick ass for a cause. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready to make a difference. I hate putting Mary Kelly on the back burner while she continues to destroy lives with those microchips, but for now, we've no choice. Then perhaps it's time to have a closer look at the elephant in the room. Nigel Cass, billionaire warmonger and current CEO of our local horde of thugs, Albion BMC. Cass certainly profited most from the bombings. We can inspire London to resist from now till forever, but it still won't break Albion's grip on the city. Not with Cass at the top. Wait, seriously? You mean you have a plan to take down the scumbag in charge of the private merc securing London? Fuck yeah, I'm all in! Bagley's come across a possible gap in Cass's armor. An ex-insider, ex-friend with an axe to grind. He'd be an asset if we can find and convince him to work with us. Come to the safe house. We'll talk it through. You're in. Now find the thing. Technology can have two sides of the same coin. That is the heart of daybreak. A chance to leave...
sides of the same coin. That is the heart of daybreak. A chance to leave the troubles of the world behind. Things may seem bleak now, but a new society awaits you. A society of peace and innovation, of love and prosperity. Draw our in as we see updates when daybreak goes live. Unleash the full potential of your mind. One simple cleaning procedure and you can be free forever. Sign up for our weakness today and join. Um, Nout? Hey, you made it. Is this like a bad time? What? Oh, him. Um, yeah, he thought I was trespassing. I set him straight. Okay. Now, about that message I sent you. I might have been a little uh, overexcited. Oh, shut up! I've been investigating a massive contract. Too massive for the plebs you use 404. This contract is different. Dangerous. Who is it? I will tell you. But first, I have to trust you. Then you have to trust me, you know? So, I'm going to send you another 404 contract. Let's just get to know each other a little better. And how exactly do we know these targets are actually bad? Oh, there you go. Asking the right questions. Trust me. I do my research. I know every contract inside out, and they're all part of the problem. London, the world... We'll be much better off with our help. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to move this twat before he gets his strength back. Laters. Not a trap. Sounds like we have a potential partnership with this mean, aggressive mystery woman. Give it a think and we'll discuss once you're out of Somerset House. Good call. A chance to leave the troubles of the world behind. Things may seem bleak now, but a new society awaits you. A society of peace and innovation, of love and prosperity. Draw our in as we see puppies. Unleash the full potential of your mind. One simple cleaning procedure and you can be free forever. Sign up for our weakness today and join us in the world of tomorrow. Daybreak is the future, and the future is very bright indeed. What should I do? Whatever she is, we don't think it's zero day. I don't see the angle. It's never a mistake to take the money, darling. <laughs> I say we keep going. If you decide to become gig economy hacktivists, then I'll support you, because I literally have no choice.
Let's talk about Albion PMC, the only British organisation to successfully oppress more of the developing world than the British government, led by Nigel Cass, a man the partisan media calls a charismatic visionary, and Amnesty International calls a war criminal. Albion was given the key to the city to re-establish order following the bombings. That's shady as fuck already. It is. So that's two reasons why we need to find an angle on Cass. We found one. His name? Hamish Bellagi. Born in London, Bellagi was a recipient of the Cass Foundation Technical Scholarship at 14, which included a mentorship with Cass himself. At 16, Bellagi designed Cass's first drone fleet. Fun fact, Cass delayed the launch by a week so it would land on Bellagi's birthday. Cass sounds like Bellagi's second dad. Why would he help us? They had a falling out after an incident in the night at Delta three years ago. A buried human rights investigation accuses Cass of ordering a drone fleet to wipe out a village protesting the construction of a pipeline, but the drones malfunctioned before they could. Bellagi is named as the likely saboteur. He's been on the run ever since, but now tracking data shows he's reappeared in London. Shit, he's looking for redemption like with the protesters. This guy designed Cass's drone fleet. I think he's trying to disarm Albion. He covers his tracks well, but that's a good guess. Unfortunately, according to this Albion intelligence report intercepted by our friend Caitlin Lau, Cass knows Bellagi's in London as well. So, that's the op. Make contact with Bellagi before Albion finds him. Then convince him we have a mutual enemy in Cass. So this guy's our best chance to stop Albion and clear our names. And the largest private army on Earth wants him dead. No pressure. It took some doing, but I've narrowed down the area where we're most likely to find Hamish Bellagi. I've pushed the coordinates to your optic. How are you doing? I hope you don't mind me getting situated in your safe house. Crime marches on, and so will I. There are still cases that need to be closed, if you'll help me. On it. Excellent. I uploaded a case to Bagley. He can brief you on it. Dan Kelly's been sending a ton of crypto to an unknown party in Cairo. Something to do with Kronos X. Oh shit, I heard of that dark web designer drug. It's a highly addictive psychotropic with a staggeringly high fatality rate that stands to make Clan Kelly a lot of money. Yeah, at what cost? Well, the phrase Finsbury New Project keeps popping up in their comms if you'd like to take a look into it.
concern. I've taken the liberty of perusing the shipping manifests. Clan Kelly took possession of three crates originating from Cairo. Crates full of Kronos X, just ready and begging to get smashed. Come on, what are we even waiting for? About that, the crates have some kind of trap mechanism that releases nerve gas when tampered with. Surprisingly creative security measure. Normally they rely on burly lads with sacks of doorknobs. Ugh, okay fine, I get it. Smash crate, do not touch. God! You lost, mate.
streets marginally cleaner. Get out of there. Well, the supply is taken care of, but the supply line is still functional. I can help with that. Clan Kelly gets their Kronos X out of Cairo through a broker, Abby Tran. I found out through an informant that she accompanied the latest shipment. Then we might be able to find her at the shipyard. We need to keep that rubbish off the streets. This is the shipyard where Clan Kelly received the Kronos X. Time to find Abby Tran and make sure she doesn't broker any more deals. I've looked into this drug. It was developed for the military. In low doses, it heightens reflexes, lowers response times, turns soldiers into killing machines. Uh-oh. They're not planning to sell the drugs at all. They want to use it on themselves. Total beast mode.
I'll take another area. Send me this. Mrs. Kelly, this is Mr. Forster, curator at London Museum. Yes, we spoke previously about the artifacts your team has found on the Finsbury grounds. The board has deliberated, and we've decided to accept your offer of protecting the artifacts for us in exchange of a monthly fee from the museum. Yes, uh, thank you, Mrs. Kelly.
Bellagi has been snooping into Albion's affairs. Quietly, of course, but I've been able to determine that most of his activity stems from this area. Time to meet this mystery man. Not so fast. Hamish isn't in, according to his home security. And before you get ideas, he's rigged his front door to a series of traps designed to delete all of his data and then your life. Not necessarily in that order. Well, he's certainly paranoid. To be fair, you are an armed insurgent trying to break into his flat. Anyway, you should be able to connect to the local grid and use security cameras to disarm his traps. Noted. Not very inviting. The whole place is wired. You could force the traps to unlock by rewiring the power. On it. Welcome to Claire and Present Danger, and welcome to Fascist London. Don't let that boot on the back of your neck disturb you. In time, you'll barely feel it. We have to wake up, people. If there was a playbook for setting up a totalitarian police state, Albion would be most of the way through it and working on the epilogue. They certainly took advantage of the fallout from the bombings, didn't they? Preyed on the fears of the city government, too. They were only too happy to hand Nigel Cass the keys to the city. Wash the hands to the whole mess. The collar will only get tighter now, friends, unless we do something. We can't wait for someone else to fight back. We are the change. Traps are disarmed. Now, if you go through the front door of the flat, it's much less likely you'll be killed.
Move one more muscle, chief, and I'll blow the whole place with you in it. Chill, chill. No need to get excited. Who the fuck are you? And what are you doing in my flat? You with Albion? <laughs> no. We're more underground. What, dead sec? Yeah, right, and I'm Che Guevara. You're done. Listen! You're wasting time! Right now, you've got to run. Albion's coming! Fuck me. You're telling the truth, aren't you? <sighs> Fucking hell, thought I was careful. Fucking idiot, Amish! Look, cuss is worse than you know. Oh, thanks. I know. Why else would I be risking my ass here? Maybe, because Nigel Cass is paying you. That's how fucking mercs work. Oh, come on. Not a friend of Cass here. We need your help taking him down, all right? He's behind the bombings. Mate, you don't know shit. You have no idea what Cass is and what... Move, move, oh, move! fuck. An Albion squad's closing in on you. I guess you weren't lying about that part. <laughs> fuck, think, I'm just think. Shit, fine. The table. I'll buy you some time. Just go. No! Move it, move it! Crap! Don't just stand there. Albion won't be fussy about who they shoot. apprehend the suspect. Control, I've lost sight of the target. Over. Suspect is gone. Issue an APW. I think all that excitement convinced our new friend Hamish that we need to work together to tackle Cass. He's willing to cooperate. All right, Chief. That was a pretty slick escape. I believe you. So I'll say this. Nigel is planning something. And I don't think I could stop him on my own. If dead sex everything I've heard, you'll help me. We can help each other. There's a chance Cass had something to do with the bombings. What could he be planning that's worse than that? No, no, that's not like him. Well, not exactly. See, Nigel's got to see himself as the hero. He's an arrogant twat, but he's not a cynic. Every place we go into, he... We would have some mad plan to fix all his problems with robot police or automated crop fertilizing or some shit. Society was a technical problem, and people are just bugs in the software, you know? You work around them or you squash them. Sorry, Chief. I got to switch proxy servers so they don't trace me. I'll hit you right back on voice. Listen, I've got an inside man, right? A contact in Albion. Says Nigel's got this big meeting happening at White Tower. He'll be talking about a major project he's got planned for London. Working on an upgrade of his private police state? Brilliant. Does this prick ever take a day off? Whatever he's up to, we need eyes on that meeting. I've always wanted to be in on a caper. Okay, first things first. We'll need eyes on the impregnable target, so off you go. I'll crack on with assembling the right personnel to round out this ragtag bunch of misfits. Ah, shit. I'll be in cybersecurity sniffing my proxy IP. Must have traced the detonator signal. I've got to deal with this.
Ever thought about joining the resistance? It's a high you'll never come down from. Trust me. Fuck me. Dead sec. All right, maybe you could help. Got myself in a bit of trouble. We're ready for anything. What have you got? OK, well, I'm not going to beat around the bush. I'll be doing some work for the Kellys. Nothing bad. Just, you know, some light smuggling, food, booze. No real harm in it. But now, they want me in on an arms deal. That's fucking serious, mate. I want nothing to do with that shit. Go on. I'm walking away from this thing. But that's not good enough, is it? Those guns are still heading for the streets unless someone takes out the shipment. Get me? Got it. Leave it to us. Thanks. You help me with this, and I'll do whatever you want. I'll repay my debts. to help fam but now I just caught a whiff now with all the CTOS cameras it'd take him less than five to ID me I ain't risking my pretty face we need an Albion insider for our caber one who's willing to turn coat I've reached out to a contact who works in a nearby pub where better to find a bleakly disillusioned anti-hero numbing their conscience with drink but secretly desperate for redemption I've let our contact know what we're in the market for and she's nearby Hi. You lot certainly know how to pick your targets. You do know that Albion have set up their headquarters in there, right? Yeah, I know. But go big or go home, right? And it's not like we have a choice. Cass is presenting his secret project to a bunch of dickheads. And I'll bet you anything, it means bad news for us. Fucking Nigel Cass. You're right. Nothing good can come of this. Luckily, I hear loads of sob stories working in a pub. And near this place? Quite a few from Albion are dissatisfied with the status quo. You turn on the charm, and I'm sure you can get one to join the good guys. Even got a candidate in mind. Cool. 
Send me all the info I need. I'll have Bagley push it along. Good luck, love. We're aware of an Albion employee who might be approachable. Recruiting someone from Albion, huh? Sounds risky. They're jackbooted thugs who regularly murder civilians. If finding a disenchanted employee is really that difficult, humanity's much worse off than I thought. It would also be quite useful to have someone on the inside. For however long that lasts, Nigel's real good at sniffing out spies. Personal experience speaking? Yeah, not really in a sharing mood right now, fam. Ever thought about joining the resistance? It's a high you'll never come down from. Trust me. Are you dead, Seg? Oh, thank God. I need your help. We're ready for anything. What have you got? My friend has a rare blood disorder, and with the state of the NHS these days, he's no longer able to get proper treatment. So we went to one of Clan Kelly's doctors. I know, I know, stupid, but we were desperate and we could afford it. Go on. The drugs worked. Too well, if anything. My friend is hooked, and now that quack is jacking up the price. I don't know how we're going to manage. What a piece of work. We'll get your friend the medicine they need. Don't worry. Well, this quote-unquote doctor is a real winner. He was struck off the medical register for gross malpractice last year, and now he's a freelance mob surgeon. Nice work if you can get it. Can you track him down, Bagsy? I am quite literally always tracking everyone down. Pushing you his coordinates now. Wonder if we'll ever get to visit that... Dead sex cells. Field trip. The use of VPNs or other <laughs> Our services are operating for your sake. Please comply with any and all directives from Albion personnel. Ugh. Oh, I just can't wait to 
Prisoner released. I'll make sure they know who to thank. On that subject, I have some exciting news about the woman you just helped. Get out of here. 
someone. We are in pursuit. I say again, in pursuit. Control, I can't see the suspect. Please advise. Control, let's put out an APW. We're getting nowhere here. Get a move on.
Look at that, a safe house. A bit like ours, too. Someone from the original DedSec could have been hiding here, just waiting for the Albion raids to blow over. Doubtful. They would have attempted contact by now. This is someone else. Of interest to Albion, apparently. You better search the place. Locked. Whatever this console is hiding, it'll stay hidden until you find the password. Get me some low-level package data from those nearby computers, and I can piece it together. That's a start, but I'll need more. Search the other computers. That's almost done it. Just a little bit more now. Keep looking. <laughs> 